What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Carol cash for about 750k. Wow. So the geographical run good is yeah, here in the Czech Republic. That's what is uh, funding his retirement. <laughs> yeah, right. That's <laughs> what it is. Ivy raises it up to 3K in the cutoff with the King-10 of hearts. Kasachakolu has ace-king on the button. His three bet is to 11K. A bit disrespectful to three bet Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy thought the same. He made the call. Bob comes nine five seven all spades. No spade in either player's hand. Not the flop. Both of these guys were dreaming of. Ivy just always has plans. Bill Ivy, the check call with the king ten of hearts on the nine five seven all spade board. Three of spades comes on the turn. This could be part of his plan. He does check on the turn. Will Kasacha Kolu give him the opening on the river? He will check. Jack of hearts comes on that river. Go. That's 20K, gets the snap fold from Orphan. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Phil Ivey. That's your chip leader at this 100K Triton Super High Roller. Taking a look at the chip counts from our feature table. Phil Ivey with 274K in chips leads the way here. And I was gonna say, I don't know if I trust Charlie's reads with anything anymore <laughs> when he's asking that question, but he didn't get a no out of Ivey. That's huh. a big deal. Zeng made it 5K with the Jack Knight of Diamonds. Ivy calls behind with the Ace Three of Hearts. Just flop a pair of Aces. Carol had called in the big with the Queen Seven of Spades. Flops a pair of Queens and a backdoor flush draw. Zeng with the worst of it. They both check over to Ivy. He checks King of Diamonds comes on the turn, giving Zeng a flush draw, a gut shot. And a door to open as he fires 15K. Ivy makes the call. Those orange chips are worth 25K. River brings a jack. Zeng's jacks, no good. Forty-eight thousand five hundred in the middle. Is he going to be able to find this bluff here and represent a ten? Small bet. About a third pot. Looks very value heavy. Yeah, reasonable and it's sizing. Probably if he the had same a size he would bet if he had yeah. some kind of two pair, like a blocker size value bet on this board too. Ivy raises it up with the aces to 40K. I think if I were Ivy, I might be thinking Zhang is not going to go this small with the 10, with the straight here. So 
I can represent a straight with not a and very big raise. Two pairs I'm out assuming there, he was bluffing, but you know, yeah. <laughs> You never know with Ivy whether he's bluffing really small or if that was like the tiniest value raise of all time. Like, I don't know what's in his head. He's, yeah. But a pretty cool play by Ivy to get those two pairs out of there. Nah, you gotta know why they don't want it. I wanna know whether it's coming from a place of insecurity or a place of too good. So I know where our friendship stands. Credit to Carol, he's gotten Ivy to open up a little bit. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't have thought that would happen. Right. I saw, I, you know, Ivy is someone who is like, he's awesome, but he is easily annoyed by little things. No, no, no. And I thought Carol's line of questioning might get to him at some point, but they're like making friends. So I was expecting people to back to me, but. very manipulative. I like it. Thanks for man. Carol three betting with the Kings out of a small blind. Yeah. You know, I used to be a lying manipulative sociopath, but now uh, uh, I like doing kind things to anyone I can come across. The internet. It's true, man. Can you grow out of being a sociopath? I don't, I don't know. know about that. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Wow, what a flop here. Comes queen six deuce, the over pair for Carol. The set of sixes for Michael Zhang. And such a dry board. Yikes. Queen six deuce, rainbow. It's a small bet, but if you're Zhang, you just call. Yeah, Carol in some trouble. nothing to worry about. Zang smooth calls on this flop. Turn is the eight of spades, rainbow board. Seventy-seven K already in the middle. Carol still got to think he's good, and yeah. there's a, there's a lot of hands Zang has that are you know ace, ace queen, king queen. You obviously have two of the kings. There's jack queen suited. There's there's a lot you could get a lot of value out of. That would raise under the gun. And would call the three bet and would call on the flop. Yep. Carol checks on the turn. Saying bet's 25,500. With 100K behind. Time bank used. And they're not terribly deep anymore. These have been short levels. There's the raise, music to Zhang's ears. Yep. Carol makes it 100K. They do get all of the chips in. Zhang in fantastic shape to double up through Charlie Carroll. River comes a jack that is not one of the two kings that Charlie Carroll was looking for. And he will send a lot of chips. Michael Zhang Z won Phil Ivy once again at our feature table alongside Chrissy B. Kristen Bicknell in the mix with 218K, a little bit above starting. Under 20 big blinds, raises it up to 16K with the ace nine of diamonds. Ivy. It's about to look at pocket eights. around the Chinway limb in the big blind with 7 6 of diamonds. 140K behind. Makes the call. 
Little does he know some of his favorite cards are taken up by the other players. Flop comes ace nine, six. It's top two pair for Cale Burns. Bottom pair for Chin Wei Lim. Backdoor straight draws for Chin Wei Lim and Phil Ivey. Checks around. Jack comes on the turn. Does Burns fire this time? I would. I'd be trying to get some money in the pot here. Two flush draws on board. He was loving his hand on the flop. You definitely need a little protection now. 36. 36, he thinks the same. That's 36K. It's two quick folds. Important pot there for Kale Burns. No more. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe 50 I'll start considering and try to sell <laughs> off somehow, okay. some way. Chin Wei Lim ships it again on the button with the A7. Plus. 29,000. Ivy looks down at the 9 7 of diamonds, not even four big blinds to him. He'll yawn, <laughs> yawn, call. The, yawn and make the call. I love him. <laughs> He'll be in pretty bad shape. Not that he cares. <laughs> Sick of an espresso, maybe. I really wish I knew how to make gifs. Because <laughs> right. I would just do everything that Ivy does and just clip it. Queen Jack 3, pretty good so far. For Chin Wei Lin just has to dodge a 9. And does dodge a 9. So another double up mm -hmm. for Chin Wei Lim. 70K, not bad. He's got almost 10 bigs now. The Yawn Call Sip Coffee did not <laughs> work out well for Ivy. From 7 to 70K, love for him to tell you to get on your bike. Yes. That'd be, that'd be worth more than 50K. For sure. Burns raises it up on the button to 17K with the queen six of spades. Ivy looks down at the jack nine of hearts. See the shot clock on the bottom right of your screen. Ivy will use a time extension here. Make the call. Saying looks at a pretty jack ten of clubs. He saw Phil tank for a while there. And he will just make the call. There's definitely a lot to consider before putting in the, any chips in the pot at this table. With so many short sacks lurking, you want to make sure you're not committing some chips in the small and then getting jammed on for 14 bigs. Right. Flop comes king seven five with two spades. Burns flops a flush draw. Ivy and Zhang don't flop much besides backdoor straight draws. Burns checks behind with that flush draw. Two of clubs rolls off on the turn. Surprised to see a check from Burns there? A little bit. I I see players checking back the nut flush draw more yeah. often, um, just with some more draws for to hit the pair, hit an ace, sometimes show down an ace and win. Uh, but with the queen high flush draw, I expected him to bet. Ivy saw an opening, fired 30K on the turn. Just jack high. Perhaps Cal thinks that the king is really good for Ivy's small bet, uh, sure. small blind flatting range. And again, he did see Ivy tank for a while, potentially considering a three bet. River is the eight of hearts. Will Ivy fire again here? 119K in the pot. Just jack high for Phil Ivy. 
Clem Ivy, I'd be thinking about Burns checking back and thinking he that usually means that they have some showdown value. Mm -hmm. And then when he, he's willing to call the 30K on the turn, I would be thinking that he has something like a pair here. But, you know, if you make it big enough, you get a pair That's to fold. That's a 75K bet. can also get queen high to fold. And that's what Kale Burns does. Phil Ivey pulls it off with the jack high, fires the turn, fires the river. Second on Canada's all-time money list. Number one would be one Daniel Negrani. I must have do Hommel for a second. I forgot how much he won. Is he number two? Oh, no, Hommel is third. Sam Greenwood, Sam Greenwood now is yeah. in second. Nice run for Greenwood over this last six months or so. Meanwhile, Kale Burns ships it in there with the ace-king on the button. Ivy ships with the king-queen in the small blind. That'll get Zhang's ace-10 out of the way, most likely. He will ask for a count, though. Zhang has something to consider here. Kale Burns is shoving for so little that Ivy can be isolating pretty, pretty light. Wide. Zeng does lay it down. Here we go. Burns with the ace king. Ivy with the king queen. Kale Burns in pretty good shape to find a double up to get back to a 15 big blind stack. <laughs> Heard Zhang say I would have rejammed if Ivy just called in mm -hmm. the small mind. It's a good side view. But still knows what the free hay means. Pop comes Jack 9 4. Opens up the 10 as far as outs are concerned for Ivy. 9 comes on the turn. Six on the river. Double up for Kale Burns. Back to 120K in chips at this 4K, 8K level. We're going to see the chips flying around. Oh, yeah. Especially at this table. We yeah. just got a bunch of short stacks. Believable. Just so good. Burns finds Ace Jack in the cutoff with those newly acquired chips. We'll put all the chips into the middle. Ivy will reshove in bad shape once again against Burns. Ivy has the ace ten of diamonds. Burns with the ace jack has the jack of diamonds. Did they switch to the short deck today? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's what there's it been is. so many big hands. We have seen some action early on in this 100k Triton super high roller. Could Phil Ivy get a little lucky here to knock out Kale Burns? And if not, he's going to swap positions with Burns and be riding the short stack. 260K in the middle. Up comes King 9-4 with one diamond. A couple back door draws for Ivy. For now, he needs a 10. The river, or the turn is a 5, and the river comes. Six of clubs. Another double up for Kale Burns. And all of a sudden, Jamie, like you said, Phil Ivy is in a little bit of trouble. Now Burns has aces. Goes from ace king to ace jack to aces. He nods like, yep. Listen, you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to take it down yes. one notch by 5.30 in the morning, buddy, all right? Not happening. <laughs> and Ivy has kings. The yeah, ultimate cooler spot. Ivy gets all the chips in the middle. And Zang has ace queen of no clubs. No way. Oh my. Hijack versus cutoff versus button. Aces versus kings versus the ace queen of clubs. And this dealer is doing his best to get more entries into <laughs> this pot. <laughs> you know, he's like, I can get a couple hundred K more into this prize pool. Registration still open for this level. And there's the shove from Zhang. No and Kristen way. Bingo has queens. What a gross you hand. you got to be kidding me. Bigno will get all the chips in. Kill Burton's happiest man in the world makes the call with the aces. <laughs> Look at these hands. Aces, kings, queens, and the ace queen of clubs. What is this rigged at? 
Can you imagine if this is at a final table? One guy watching, just like, well, I make three pay jumps if this <laughs> one handles. Oh my god. Day two of the 100K Triton Super High Roller has started off with a bang. This is absurd. Our dealer found a way to fit four hands onto the screen. <laughs> Ivy enjoying his omelet. His kings are not in great shape. There are no kings out there. <laughs> oh queen my in the God. window! It comes Queen One Jack queen. Seven! The sole remaining queen comes in on the flop. A ten of diamonds comes on the turn. Can Vignal's three queens hold up? The yeah. river is the ten. Queens full of tens. Kristen Bicknell takes down a nice pot. Kale Burns is going to take down a really nice side pot. There was one queen left. <laughs> and Chrissy B is super healthy. So Ivy back in the mix. Same seat. Started with 200K. Makes the call on the big. He stayed against fives. King seven deuce. Quick check from Ivy. Quick fold from Ivy. Down to 17 bits. Very good result for five there. Yeah. Getting called. Take that and run for yeah, the hills. Getting called. Ivy makes it 21K on the button with the 10 9. Katz has an ace in the big. Makes the call. Carrie Katz is also on bullet number three. Saw a couple threes. Oh, and a 10 as well. Cats flops trips. Ivy flops a 10. Bad news again for Phil Ivy considering his stack size. That's 20K. It's called pretty quickly by Cats. Turns the queen of clubs. Catch checks again. And I view the decision to try to protect against two flush draws or check back. I mean, either option seems okay. That's 50. That's 50K. And with this queen on the turn, Ivy's now chopping with tens he used to beat. So this seems like a 50k just for protection, don't you think? Mm -hmm. The shove from Katz. Oh. Ivy will call and see the very bad news. Hasn't been the best of days for Phil Ivy. Can he salvage this day with a 10? No. It's a six on the river, and that will do it for Phil Ivy. Two bullets in, and he is out. These big yeah. lines, yeah. and it's like, you know what? Why, why hold to a strict schedule if right. every person who's playing the tournament wants to start sense. later? Flexibility is important. Oh my, queen 10 9. Bicknell flops a straight. Cats flops bottom two pair, blind versus blind. 
This has been the craziest start to a day two I've ever seen. Unbelievable, the amount of action we've seen. That's only going to increase here. And they said, and they said Paul must be in, so you can't bust. If you bust, it's bad for TV. It's really bad for TV. Okay, Paul? No. Don't bust, please. But Only G is the man draw. Second you. <laughs> Cats check calls the 25k bet from Bicknell. What? There is seat four? No. There is no seat four. <laughs> Ten oh on the God. turn. Oh, Tens full of nines for Kerry Cats. It's really offensive route. And that club may slow Chrissy down sure. a little bit. She will fire again on the turn. Time extension used by cats. The shove from cats. This is for all of Chrissy's chips, too. She's got to think about, are there any hints she's beating that he'd do this with? Mm. Would he do this with trip tens? Maybe with the ace of clubs, yeah. but there's not much else. From a beautiful spot on the flop to an annoying spot on the turn. Bicknell does make the correct lay down. Ask to see it. It's at 35K. Kurganov with Kings. Wow, this is crazy. Here we go again with the cooler spots. Fully expecting aces and ace being suited <laughs> right, again. Right. He'll three bet it to 105K. Chun Tong Xiao happy to find tens in the big blind. It's just eight big blinds. <laughs> You're thinking, wow, this is so lucky. Cool. Uh. Tens. Trickett with 475k behind after his open to 35k. The hand as strong as queens, but still vulnerable. I expect him to just jam. Isolate that all, all in, in the short call. stack. Here we go. Queens against kings against tens. Main pot worth 366,000. Side pot between Kurganov and Trickett worth a sizable 792K. Igor shaking it out before we see this flop. Can Trickett find a queen? Not yet, comes nine, do six. Kurganov has the clubs covered. Seven of clubs comes on the turn. Opens up a straight draw for Chun Tong Xiao. There's a seven on the river, and Kurganov will take it all. Chun Tong Xiao out in 12th. Sam Trickett out in 11th. Just 10 players remain. Queen Jack. Two in one hand, man. What was the hand? Sam opens up. Ben Heath looks down at King Queen on the butt. Oh, then he isolated. Sam had Queens. <laughs> I really can't even like even if I just call free flop I still get it wrong. <laughs> and that's the equalizer, that's the small amount of luck that there is still that makes people play even when they're outmatched or whatever. It's Not true. like Igor is outmatched, but right, if right, I right. get in that tournament and I'm the worst player and I just 
get lucky a couple times, you got a shot. He set up the great equalizer. Heath called on the button with the king queen. Cats called on the big with the king three. Does flop a three, but Kurganov takes the lead after he flops a jack. And if there was no luck in this tournament, Helmuth would be winning this every Obviously. time. Obviously. <laughs> it would show up everywhere and win every single tournament. 38. 38. Kurganov fires 38K. Heath looking skeptical, but not having a whole lot. Just the King of Diamonds. He's got some turns that would be interesting for his hand, but he's not even closing the action here. So Right, with carry behind him. Tough spot. But he does make the call. That does get Cats out of the way. Turn is the Six of Diamonds. Flush draw now for Heath. Go with the decision between protecting his jack from a fourth diamond peeling off or deciding to keep a pot small. He will check. Do we want to semi bluff our king queen, the king of diamonds, or check back and try to get there? When Igor checks, I expect him to have a good hand with some showdown, so. I don't know if this one barrel will win Heath the pot, but if he's playing to barrel twice, it might. He does see an opportunity here. That's 126,000. Kurganov check calls. Can he find a king or a diamond? No, it's the seven of clubs on the river. Kurganov checks, 440K in the middle. The jam would likely get this done, don't you think? It's really hard to hang on with that jack. You are sitting here with just king high, and you know that Igor has yeah. showdown value, probably a one pair type of hand. My suggestion's a lot easier said than done <laughs> <laughs> when playing a 100K, getting close to the money. But I don't think Heath's plan was to just barrel once and yeah. give up if he didn't get there. If that it's were his plan, I think coming. he'd just check and try to get there, right? Kurganov has to see some strength in Heath after he called on the flop with carry behind him. He does make and he the all-in jam it. for 423,000. All of his chips with just king high. Kurganov faced with the decision here with top pair. And I know this feeling well, this sick feeling of like, uh, it's kind of obvious I have the type of hand I have. Has been crazy. Is he willing to shove pot close to the money in 100K? Time Answers. extensions will yeah. be used here. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Stone Cold Bluff from Ben Heath. And it gets the job done. Well played, gutsy move by Ben Heath. Biggest cash, 792K. Finishing second, the 25K event of the PCA in 2013. 
think most of the other people who are in the 7 million range probably final table the WSP main. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Kristen Bicknell picks up the Jack-10 of Diamonds. Makes it 50K. She's been playing pretty snug. Has been mostly dealt out at the final table so far. Ben Heath takes a look at the King Queen of Hearts. Started with about 360, 18 big blinds. He decides just to call, I think, because she has somewhat of a tighter image at the moment, at least. Especially in this situation where you're trying to make the money, you're on a short stack, you're not going to be opening super light. This might be the lightest she'd open. Falcons 10 10 9. A little something for Heath as well. Bicknell flops, trip tens. He flops a gut shot. Little does he know if that comes in, that will fill up Chrissy B. He's with the backdoor flush draw as well. That's 30K. The call from Heath. The turn oh, is wow. the jack, and it's the jack of hearts. A full house for Kristen Vicknell, a straight for Ben Heath. That does have a straight flush draw. The Ten of Hearts is still out there. Such a brutal game. He loves his hand. Wow. He has one out. The <laughs> Jack of Hearts comes in on the turn. Oh, somebody's watching or stream, listening to your commentary. It goes check, check. The river is a blank. It's the Three of Diamonds. Mm. Love you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's looking at it. <laughs> we are both looking at it. That's why he's so upset. Today. <clears throat> and checks again with that straight. In his mind, pleading for Bignal to bet, which she will do. Bet small on the river. Chrissy, with just so much of this board, it's hard to put your opponent on such a good hand. She's targeting one pair type of hands, possibly a hero call with ace or king high. Lucky for her, we see that Heath just has <laughs> crushed this turn so hard. There's the all in, here's the snap call. And he knows and once before she he even snaps sees off, it. Yep. Tens full of jacks for Kristen Bicknell, the full double up. What a turn card. I don't think Igor was going to be influenced. Maybe a little bit. Oh. <laughs> no, I wasn't, but... Hard to have zero influence at all. Oh, yeah. He was a pretty good listener, so. Pretty good what? Listener. Katz finds ace queen again. Pay attention. This time the ace queen of hearts. Oh, and really cool. Ships it once again. Three, one, five. Three, no, one, five. no speech this time, though. Oh, and who has king oh, wow. queen? And only Kristen nine big blinds. The ace eight. Stronger than last time. 
<laughs> He's honest again. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Who makes the call? <laughs> Paul is saving Kristen here. Yeah, that allows Kristen to fold the AC. She would have been pretty crushed. Instead, it's Pua who's pretty crushed with the King Queen. Two titans of the poker industry going at it here. Will the Ace Queen hold up? Fox comes 4 4 3. So far, so good for Kerry Katz. Turn card is the five of hearts. King of hearts already in Paul's hand. Paul will need a king and a king only to find the double. It is the ten of diamonds, and that will do it for Paul Pua. You sure I got you covered? Yeah. Yeah. One of the I Titan co-founders out in about the same. Three on the button. Fourteen bigs. She rips it in there. Oh, oh no! Orphan has aces in the big blind. It's a tough spot for Kristen Bicknell. <laughs> this is where Stapes would say blockers aren't real, and I'm going to have to agree. Use some hearts, could use some hope cards, could use some threes. She's been all in and at risk in a bad spot before when she had queens up against aces and kings and ace queen and found the queen. Can she find some luck here? Ah, two hearts on the flop. Hearts. Ten of hearts. And some chop outs. Some chop outs. That would be a really good card. <laughs> backdoor chop outs, a backdoor Three hearts flush draw. Black. Turn card. Oh, it's the ten nice. of clubs. There are some chop outs here. Queen of seven comes down. Chrissy has a three. Open. Chrissy B stays alive. <laughs> River card. It Aww. is the ten. Good luck. We say goodbye Thank to you. Kristen Bicknell. Thank you. Good luck. Well played by Chrissy. Nice min cash and a hundred k buy-in. Finishes in sixth place, takes home 213,000 euros. Kristen Bicknell out in six, she took home 213K. Cool. And Carrie with the limp off of five big blinds. Oh, love I it. Dig Just it. calls with the 8 7. He was in about the to uh, post 40% of his stack in the big blind and big blind ante, so he said, you know what? I'm going to live a little first. Okay, how much do you have? 290. It's Orphan with the ace 8 on the button. Wow, and Orphan just goes for the fold. He said, you know what? You're limping off five big blinds. This is sketchy. I'm out of here. That's why, that's why I'm folding a mega hand. <laughs> Wasn't well, really lying. Trojanovsky with the queen six of diamonds will check in the big blind. If somehow Carrie bluffs his way <laughs> to victory in this hand, I have a new hero. It's going to be hard yeah. here. <laughs> Choyanovsky flops a flush draw and a gut shot. Is Carrie going for the limp and go? <laughs> <laughs> he is. This is definitely oh, a trademark yes, move is. I have never seen before. He's going to get called Wait. here. Oh. Oh. He's <laughs> a puppy. <laughs> you saw the reaction from Katz. Not quite what he wanted to see. Not so. But has some outs. Pair of draws are alive. Just needs an eight or a seven that's not a diamond. Or a turn, couple running cards. Uh, turn a six Speaking for a little straight. sweat. Be fun. That'd be very fair. I think you call up a gem. Thank. Yeah, less Should've than five jammed. big blinds. I think so too. I just oh, cool. they raised. Yeah, you gotta call well. this five blinds. Cool, 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 cool. so it's the only so way I could get folding equity. Get a little lucky, not on the turn. Okay. Needs to find an I'll eight a or seven again, or a seven eight. that's not a diamond. I don't even care if it's diamond. a diamond. Oh, well, Carrie doesn't care. I'm not greedy. <laughs> Definitely knows what to be greedy. Different card. 
How many outs do you have? I have like. He has five. Not enough. All right. So not enough. GG. It's a four. Game the straight here. for Troyanovsky. We say goodbye to Kerry Katz, El Jefe, out in fifth place, taking home 273,000 euros. <laughs> Why can Yong on the button with Queen Nine? You're so lucky. He will shove his 395k. Six and a half big blind shove and whipping not quite enough. But we've seen Heath make pretty light calls. I don't think he's getting through Heath here. Heath looks down at the Queen Ten, Snap. does make the call, oh, is in really good shape I against Wai Ken Young's Queen Nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> knew it based off the reaction. I'm not going to say my hands. Fair. Although, if I'm Wyke and Young, I know that means two of a nine. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm not going to say my hands. <laughs> Excellent point, Jamie. Queen nine against queen Very ten. Good. Very good. Very good. Here comes jack six three. Two diamonds, Heath, though, as the diamonds cover. So Wai Ken Young is going to need a nine. A couple running cards to make a straight. Seven, not one of those cards. A nine and a nine only will keep Wai Ken Young alive in this tournament. Six of spades, and that will do it for Wai Ken Young. Another impressive run in a Triton Super High Roller event. I hope he gets Thank to you. grab a quick nap before firing that short deck. He looks like he needs it. Finishes in fourth place for 349,000 euros. <laughs> was he a one bullet wonder in this? He was. All right, not a bad cash. Not a bad two days for Wai Ken Young. Well, aces will help the cause. That's what Troyanovsky finds on the button. Orphan with eights in the small blind. Three-handed. Eights look pretty good in this spot. He'd be pre pretty happy with having eights here. And willing to take it up against the 21 big blind stack of Troyanovsky, too. Absolutely. Orphan shoves. Troyanovsky loves hearing that. He said it all in. He said it all in, right? Uh, yeah. Has to hide his celebration for the moment while Heath squeezes his queen deuce. <laughs> he even rolls his <laughs> <I> eyes. Roll. <laughs> and he will make the call with the aces. <laughs> Trianoski in good shape for the double up. It's coming. Orpin says he's feeling it. 50 50. <laughs> like what you say. It's coming. I think second card on the flop. <laughs> See Charlie Carroll taking a look. Second. On the rail. 20. It's okay. I'm a Grisa 20. The hearts are covered by Troyanovsky's aces. So only an eight can help warp him. Turn cards a nine of clubs. It was close to one of the black eights that Orphan was looking for and is still looking for. River card. It's the queen of diamonds. A safe run out for Vladimir Troyanovsky's aces. And just like that, we have a new chip leader. And he's just been hanging around. <laughs> That's what he, he does. carry casting his way for the last few hours. Long deck. Let's no go. limit holding <laughs> event. No short deck tomorrow. Plan's always subject to change. Stop Jamie. it. Stop it, Jeffrey. As we see Orban rip it <laughs> with deuces on the button. And he is down at ace 10. He's seen plenty of shoves from Orban on the button. And with 20 bigs, he will make the call. Here we go, Ben Heath is at risk. 
Effectively, Orpen is too. Very similar stacks. King three cards. Troyanovsky just gets to chill uh, out like, on the we'll sideline and make a couple hundred K. We have basically the same. Barring a chop. Yeah. I, don't want to I have like 1.64 or something. The deuces for Orp and the like ace 10, 10 for Heath. If everyone agrees, I can take my cards. I have 1.67. He has 1.68, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir says, I'll take my cards back. Let's go. Let's see if I can just win it now. <laughs> that is not allowed. Yeah, he covers. Yeah, covers, yeah. I have, I have 1670. I know Heath is probably not thrilled about taking a flip here. Even with a little dead money on the side, I think, especially when he refuses a chop talk, that he feels, feels his like he skill edge is a little yeah. bit higher and he wanted to play it out. I'm all in, yeah. I have the ace and what 1.7. You can't just have like ace 10. three. Huh? Huh? Can't just have like ace three. <laughs> that's a 10. Ooh, uh, you even. That's a two. He sees a 10, oh. but he also sees a yeah. deuce behind yeah, no, it. Yeah, yeah, Needs running yeah. cards now. Orpin in very good shape. After flopping a set of deuces. Keith Deuce turning his mic off. Running for the exit. Oh. But... A queen rolls yeah, off on, on the turn. On, just in case. <laughs> Don't turn the mic off just yet. I really hope I do. I saw the 10 in the window. I'm so happy. Four remaining kings, but we saw Vladimir fold a king. So King's we know three spades. kings Thank are left in this deck. Day. Make it real. Can he find a king one. for the double? <laughs> <laughs> he cannot. It's a six of diamonds on the river. That means okay. we say goodbye to Ben Heath. He is Good out team, in third place. Takes home 455,000 euros. You wanna... Orpin against Vladimir Troyanovsky. This is what they are fighting for. A 330k difference between runner-up and champion. The champ takes home more than 1 million euros. Chip lead increases. Oh, he shoves. Troyanovsky is going to look down at an ace. Not your favorite ace, but right. only 16 big blinds in your stack. I think you got to click the call button here. That extra ante in there. Contemplating. Oh. Finds the call with the ace deuce, and here we go. The Triton Super High Roller title on the line. If Orpin gets a little lucky here. Troyanovsky ahead right now with the ace deuce against the queen seven. Looking for that double up to turn the tide in this heads up battle. Flop comes. 8 5 4. Opens up a couple outs for Orpin. Now looking for a queen, seven, or six. Card is an eight, no help. If Orpin hits a queen, seven, or six, he becomes our champion. River card. It is a nine. And that's a full double up for Vladimir Choyanovsky. Orpin, the slight chip lead after winning that last hand. Brief discussion about time banks when that shot clock starts. Both players flop top pair here. 
Orphans 8 is just a touch better. And it's funny in heads up hoop, this is a pretty big cooler. Absolutely. <laughs> decent you eight each versus a top pair. decent eight. On the low board. Doesn't hurt that there's a flush draw out there. Mm -hmm. Some straight possibilities. Do you remember the heads up match between Helmuth and Tom Dwan back in the day? Yeah, NBC where he National berated heads up Dwan for getting it in with tens. Absolutely, with tens, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. Orpin check was, shoves. Troyanovsky with those eights. And with those. Draw we'll find the call. Here we go. Orpin in very good shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little the same in the big cash game. In the Sochi. Credit to Orpin. Against the big shove off. really makes it look in like a draw. Back. Absolutely does. Uh, and same Orpin is close to this same victory. Uh, same board. Uh, eight and deuce and four. Did you win? No. <laughs> lose both times. What can I do? Turn card. It's the Jack of Diamonds. Deuce of three. That is not a fantastic turn card for Trojanovsky. Needs to find a nine ball. Some chop outs. The river card is a king, and that will do it. Orpin has found his signature victory. He takes down the 100K Triton Super High Roar for more than one million dollars.